All right, so since I'm really like doing voiceovers, I'm just going to talk about the topic while I'm uh, playing Chimes. But Deep Oakland is kind of in like a weird position right now where there's not a lot of in-game content right now. Like, especially if, if you think about it in like PvE and PvP sense, there's not a lot to do for PvPs. I guess maybe like, not PvPs, not a lot to do for PvE players. Maybe like a later two and Hell Mode. But if you're like decent in the game, those things aren't that i mean not decent but if you know how to make your go get around in uh pve then those things aren't that like big of a deal it's not that hard i think at the time of recording evoken probably has like fourteen thousand players on a weekend right now which is not bad by any standards i remember at when verse 2 first came out though i think it peaked at like 70k which is that's a lot definitely especially for a game like evoken but i don't think evoken is really a game that can like sustain that unless there's content updates and the quality of the updates would definitely drop if that was the case but there is this kind of feeling moving over the community that deep open is pretty like boring right now there's not a lot to do so i was trying to think of like some things that they could add on the pvp side for right now because i feel like it would be easier to add something for pvp than would pve i think pve would definitely take more time to add uh content for but the first thing i thought of was kind of like it started off as a battle royale when i was thinking about it but then i i remembered like a game i think it's a it's called a dark and darker if you guys have seen anybody play it i remember agamasu was playing it a bit he was streaming it but dark and darker is kind of like a game it's basically like a battle royale but you go in with a class you go into a dungeon the dungeon has npcs in it the dungeon has players and you can actually go through the dungeon get things to fight the players and so it's kind of like a battle royale but it has npcs in there too that you can fight and uh it's actually pretty fun so i was thinking what if you kind of just like took this idea and you put it into deep open so you'd be able to do solos duos trios something like that so you could do it with your friends at least and also do it by yourself um it would be cool if it wasn't uh like it's something with skulls because something like that it's not a lot of the time you're gonna be winning so I feel like they also do need like a mode that doesn't have skulls in it because it's not really fun to just like try and play a PvP game mode and you're always worrying about like if I lose, that if I go across this broken build, then I'm just gonna start losing skulls and I might go to the depths. And then I'm gonna get drowned and go to, to layer two. Like but that's not fun. So you could probably like start with a starting weapon of your choice in this battle royale. So like sword, battle axe, stiletto maybe even like guns or rapiers depending on you could bring like the echo uh benefits into it too so if you have those different starters then you can use them in there too but you know they would have npcs in there like regular npcs like maybe like mudskippers mudskipper knights um who well, else just bandits and they don't really have to be npcs from the main game you could even make special ones for the uh mode i know that would probably take longer but I feel like it would flesh it out more and they could even have like mini bosses in some rooms kind of like how dark and darker has they have like wraiths and things that drop better loot in certain rooms so you could even put things like enforcers in the uh rooms for things like mini bosses but there would obviously be other players in there I'm not sure how many exactly maybe like 20 not nah, in solo it would probably be like 15 maybe in duos somewhere around but like 30 30 might be too much 30 actually i'd probably do 30 and 20 for uh or 30 for duos and trios i can't pay right now while talking all right one but in the in dark and darker there's also a way for people to leave like mid dungeon and then they can leave and keep the items that they actually got in that run and bring them to the next one so that got me thinking like what if they had limited like weapons and items that you could only get through that mode and to really bring them back you have to either win or just escape through like a portal that spawns momentarily i had, haven't really completely thought about it but they could also have like a system in there they could probably compress the leveling a bit more and then boost the level and xp so you could actually level up in there and kind of make your make a build as you go along through i'm not really sure how two minutes would work things like that but this is really just like 
an idea. I feel like it's something cool that we could add to the game just to like have something fun to do in the game because there's not a lot to do in this game to be honest right now. I'm trying to find a forgotten Gladius. It's in the list. Because <laughs> apparently everything to you. This guy's, he's got a char, but um, this could also kind of save you from fighting like the same build over and over again in PvP game modes because you know people are like in chimes like basically this build that you see me going against right now is what people just go against all the time it's all people do the same shrine of order build this and i don't know to be honest i don't know how people have fun doing them but this is all people do so in a mode like that you wouldn't be able to bro, i'm getting like this right now in a mode like that you wouldn't be able to just make that same shrine of order build because obviously there's no shrine in the dungeon but i feel like this could be a way to make people can have like something more to do like it's something fun to do but um if you do think it's a good idea and maybe definitely put your own suggestions down below things that you could change to it make sure to like comment subscribe, and the notification bell we'll see you in the next one peace